All right, welcome back, everybody. We are going to do a review on a game that is Iconic. way overdue. It's for Jen to play it. it. This is, in my opinion, probably one of the most important Zelda games. I have to interrupt right here. No, I have to interrupt right here and say it's way overdue. Jen should play it. Scott played it last year. I played it actually three, or not four years ago. Okay, so, so not that all long that ago? long ago. It's oh, been whatever. that long ago, yeah. Mm. Anyways. <laughs> but we're going to kind of do it in my style of game review yeah. there, where we have the seven categories, and we're going to rip through it there and have Jen's take on it, because playing it for the first time in 2022, if you haven't played it yet, maybe we can sell you on it. So we always have seven categories. And we always start with wh what is the most important fuck off ice machine, <laughs> which is always the most important category is story, because I think games live or die by that story sometimes. Yeah. And especially <laughs> when we talk about Zelda games, yes. for the most part, you, you when you play through a it's Zelda a game, it's all about the story. Yeah. The story for this, <clears throat> I mean, you're trying to find all this stuff to bring the world back to the peace and the harmony that it once was. The story itself is kind of like getting around the world, and you you find an item or you're like how or an area it's on the, the map. It's people that are part of the yeah, story. Yeah, and you're like, how yes. do I get there? How do I solve this little piece of the puzzle? You know? Yeah. It's yeah. It keeps you going, keeps you playing there. For for a game that there was like no voice acting or anything like that, and yeah. you're reading everything, and obviously that's any game you're playing from that era, it just I honestly really connect it with some of those characters as you're meeting different people in the world, and that's what kind of builds your story. It is all these different people that you're meeting throughout, and it really creates this atmosphere. I, I don't know. It's it's Tell it's it's special because uh, you did tell me this before you told me a little bit of the story that kind of touched you a bit about the whistle yes yeah. that was that was the part for me that when i went to the dark world and the uh boy said i'm never going to be able to play again so here the it whistle is or the flute the flute, oh, the flute. Sorry, sorry the flute <clears throat> yeah. yeah i'm never going to be able to play again so here it is and uh because his father sends you to get him i think from the light world. Yes. Well, he's his boy's missing. Yes. Yeah, he, and you find him. Know. He gives you the flute, and yeah. then I'm like, he he basically kind of disintegrates or disappears, and he gives you the flute because he's never gonna be able to play it again. But then when you make everything better and complete, he comes back, and I'm like, oh, it made me feel good because I felt bad because I I like automatically connect any father son thing to Alex and Scott, and I'm like. Oh. <laughs> But I was so happy that everything, like, everything, there was peace again in the world once you made everything right. And I, I was like, I really love that. Because for probably the first 10, 15 hours playing the game, I was fucking mad. I was mad all the time because I didn't, I've never played a game so, quite like this before. So, okay, well, we'll jump to the next category, which, which is difficulty. difficulty. Now, when it comes to difficulty, I think when, if, if, people haven't played Zelda games, they probably mm -hmm. look at it as not a very difficult game, but I think if you've never played this before, you may have to go look up a lot of stuff. I know I had to, I had to go. See, I have a hard time to remember what it was like playing through th for the first time, yes. because I played it... Oh, it no internet! <laughs> like, I played it when the Super Nintendo was out, and when that yeah. game came, came out, out, so that's yeah. when I played it, yeah. and I played it. How many times have you think you've I probably it. played through that like 20 times. Oh I'm Jesus! Sure, really? I'm sure, and I still enjoy it to this day. I yeah. could, I could pop that in my SNES right now. And just, oh and yeah! I will, I will play it. I, I had know. to use a walkthrough because I was finding you were my getting frustrated. I was getting frustrated. It was not fun. For and me. yes, okay. it's because of my age. So I'm like. I'm trying to shut up. I'm well, trying. what were you what were you using the walkthrough for? Like through the dungeons? No, not so much. So where to go well, get your one, items? One oh, of the you dungeons. Need to get next. Where to go? Yes, because okay. I just needed to, I needed like I wasn't using it the <clears throat> entire time. I wasn't sitting there reading it. Yeah. But when I needed help, I didn't want to have to wander around 
and just kind of not know where I was going because I don't have time to yeah. do that. I'm like, now, tell me what's next. When I played through it first, there would have we been no had, option. There was no looking it up online. No. But what they did do is have a map. Yes. And as you're talking with the people, they'll say to the northeast and down west of this village. I can't read a map like so, that. Tell me where it is to the closest yeah, that Tim Hortons, is true. please. So <laughs> using the map and using, you know, because it's not an overly big world. No, no, it's not. There was another thing there. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. Was it like a, a fortune teller or something? When you pay them. Certain oh, yeah. They can tell you fortune. Yeah. 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 And, and, and it's all yeah. clues in it. And you're like, oh, okay. I mean, they never really direct you in the exact place you have to go here they yeah. don't really tell you that they, they never send really you in that area that. yes yeah. but then you gotta figure it out like, i oh. think yeah. we're crossing over a little bit when we talk about difficulty in the gameplay so i want to just go right to gameplay it's not game a difficult is. game but i guess if you're trying to finish it in under a certain amount of time and you just want like it can be difficult at times if yeah. you're not used to that style of game as far as gameplay and that's what i want to talk about it's it's a really fun game. I love the gameplay part of it. They're yeah. Like just the attacks and stuff like that. You like it's it's simple, right? It's, yeah. But it look it still looks good. It still oh, yeah. plays really well. The oh. boss fights. Oh yeah. Yeah. Are amazing. They are. Like, as you're as you're gaining your weapons, you can use them in the boss fights. Yeah. And, and yeah. you need to find what weapon works best. Yes. Right, against that. Yeah, boss. and then another thing is trying to find all the heart, uh, all the heart containers. containers. Yeah. yeah. As like, many times as, as I've played through it, I have never gotten all of oh, these. Oh really? I've never I looked missed, it up online. I missed one container when I played through, and I was trying to find them all. Look at yeah. I yeah. missed one somewhere. Yeah. And I decided it wasn't it worth wasn't the worth time it. to try to go yeah. back. I, even if I could go back, I can't. Do you remember. know what I loved about yeah. this and hate it at the same time? Is when you're going around the world. And there's seven different areas in the world. It sometimes it's not always easy to get to certain areas. So you'd have to jump between the dark world and the light world yes. to oh, get yeah. where you need to go because it would be blocked in certain ways. Yeah, yeah. It it was like that was challenging because I get frustrated, but at the same time, I'm, it added levels and depths to the gameplay. Oh yeah, yeah. Like, it, you need it. You needed that for that era of gaming. You need it. Uh, I think that game was ahead of its time. I really when do it came too. Out. I well, do it's too. the template for a lot of games. So. It is. Oh yes, it definitely. is. I think uh, Big Old Words actually was doing a whole series on Zelda like and zelda like clones and yeah. oh my god so many games are influenced by zelda it's oh, ridiculous yeah. Yeah, yeah. i couldn't like i don't know a lot of snes and nes games there was so many but then when he started pointing them out i was like oh yeah 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 mm -hmm. it like makes sense right yeah yeah, oh, yeah. You, you can totally no see it. Zelda, there's a reason mm -hmm. why the the series of zelda has a big following absolutely and it's just continued to grow. Like, yeah. Yes. Grow, grow, grow. Oh, yeah. So let's get into graphics. Yeah. I love this 16 bit Absolutely. era of graphics Absolutely. there. Like, I, when playing this, this, it, I don't know. It, I love that style. Graphics, Jen. Because I know you're a PS4 girl. If you, if you could get a PS4 tattoo tomorrow, I think you would. <laughs> no, you know what? <laughs> I don't mind pixel graphics. I actually really, really enjoy them. I don't like that shit in between before things got good in like the PS3 era. Oh, you're I don't talking want about your early 3D graphics. Yeah, or the for early PS1 and stuff wow. like that can be bad. It, it can be really bad. I mean, the games can be really good, but if I got to like strain my eyes to look at it and I'm like, "Good lord, this is hard to look at, but it's an enjoyable game." But this yeah. has everything. It's an enjoyable game, and pixel graphics are ageless. They're timeless. Well, this, well, even now, indie games are yes! mimicking, mimicking and making designing games that look very similar. Yeah, absolutely. Because it's, I, the, it's so pleasing, and Minecraft. a lot of people from our generation love this. Stuff. Minecraft. Oh my God, the, right? the SNES. I thought the graphics were fantastic. In this game, in particular, what I really enjoy is the colors. Oh my God! Yes. yes. When you're walking through the forest and you see like, they did a good job, kind of giving. Like texture, almost making it yes. feel Absolutely. like it has oh, some yeah. depth there. You know I agree. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I agree. definitely. I I have no issue at all with the graphics. 
I can play a beautiful PS4 game, I can play a 16-bit pixel game, and I'd be completely happy either way. Moving on from graphics, music, and sound. Amazing. Amazing! I so love... amazing that when you now go and watch a lot of YouTube channels, they use sound effects and, and like sounds that are in this game and music in yes. the game. You constantly hear it all the time now. Absolutely. I can understand <laughs> why you can get sucked into a game like you you have great story great you have great graphics great but that music anybody gets pumped up by music like that's that's the same thing you get when you're in a game sets your tone it sets oh, the tone oh yeah and it gets yes. this this one gets stuck in your head oh it does yes. well when you tried to open our video with let's <laughs> <laughs> How do we start it? I'll do we go? <laughs> That's exactly how we start it. <laughs> the the sounds in this game, uh, like the, the music is great, but I love some of the sounds. Like when the guys making the the, the princesses or the disappear, and he's yeah. doing that, the, he's using his magic. Oh, yeah. The sounds that come out. Yeah. I just I love those sounds there. Just amazing. I'd it's love so to have I, those like for ringtones on my phone. Uh, I, bet you could. <laughs> I bet you I could. I bet yeah. you can get them, yeah. Yeah. We just need somebody much younger to show I us still out. have in my head there even now, like running through the regular the light world there. Oh yeah. The music. Yeah. You can hear it. And oh, there yeah. and there is a like a difference between the light world and the dark world world music and yeah. it's fitting. It's very yeah. fitting. It is. Yeah, well, it sets the tone. It, it sets does. The atmosphere, it right? so does. Yeah, even the boss it's, fights. Oh my the god. The music changes oh, yes. and it changes the tone. You're like, it's on. It's or if you're a, inside like, or outside, yeah. like it's, yeah. it's, it's a different. ten on music. I don't think they could have got the music better. No, 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 no. It fit. Bang on. The, there's, there's, it, it, it's just as perfect. It is. It's yeah. absolutely perfect. Yeah. It really is. All right, so music and sound, perfect. 10 out of 10. You can't get better than that. <laughs> Value and replayability, well, good lord. There's so much to find. To 100% this game would take you some hours. Oh, like, yeah. I've mm -hmm. played through it countless times, and I and I know I still haven't discovered it, everything. There is a fountain that you can throw some items yes, in. Yes, yes. Yeah. And the fairy will, will give well, you your item but back. But you don't know but that. But enhanced. I the first time you're like, told, told her me. to do that. Yeah. And she's like, what? Maybe yeah. if I throw it, I'm not getting my item That's... back. I don't want to lose my item. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if you throw the wrong thing, she'll tell you and be like, well, don't, don't do don't, that Don't again. do that again. Yeah. And I, That's I kind of always wanted to try it anyways and see what happens but I don't want to lose it so I'm like no, no yeah no. she'll never keep anything but you throw the boomerang in and then she gives you a better boomerang yeah and yeah. things like that but and it's just fun because you're like should I do this or shouldn't <laughs> I and in today's day you can say oh, I'll just look online and say yeah oh, okay I can throw my back then it was like when did I have my last save yeah and you're like Ooh, yeah. I don't want to ruin it do I want to do uh, play another half hour modern hour? games <laughs> auto save every like 35 seconds I swear and so. also the other spot where there is another fairy and you can throw rupees in. yes yeah, yeah. and after a certain amount you, she'll yes, say oh she she'll do. reward you she can she'll give you uh, you can carry more bombs or you can oh, carry yeah. more arrows. Did you do that? I did not do that. No. I knew about it, but I, knew about I was getting it towards I was the end of the game where I was like, through, you yeah. know what? But you're wondering at the time, you're like, oh, I can throw in 10 rupees or 100 rupees. I'm like, what am I going to get? Am I going to get a reward? Yeah. Now I know. I just keep pumping. Whenever I have money, I keep yeah. pumping it in because I want to get yeah. better. Hey, make it rain. <laughs> make it rain. <laughs> make it rain rupees. <laughs> Overall... Um, oh, overall, what are your overall thoughts there? Because, you know, this was part of a, a challenge to yourself about trying to play more retro games because you are definitely a PlayStation girl there. I, I cut my PS4. teeth on the PS4 yeah. era because I didn't, I, I hadn't gamed in such a long time. And so I didn't have an appreciation for retro because I grew out of it. I grew out yeah. of retro. And now that I'm getting back into it, and I think you would probably agree that I've played a fair share of retro this year yeah. more so than I have any other year. It was eye-opening last year because every year we do our, our games that we beat in whatever, yes, this whatever year. year and then I looked at we all last year I said well let's divide them up modern retro and it was even myself sad. I was ashamed at like how little retro games I played I was like I, I gotta fix this. Yes. <laughs> and sometimes I'll find it hard to make myself play a retro game on the whole, I find it more challenging than a modern game. 
Most of them? I think oh, so. Oh, definitely. Yes, anybody can so. finish a modern you game. You really can. Uh, yeah. And I know you guys are going to say Demon Souls. I get that. I get that some modern games are tough, but we're talking yeah, on average. Some modern average. games are designed to be tough. Yeah. But most of them are designed to make money, which means they want everybody to be everybody able to play, to be able to have play. fun, yeah. and, you know. But it's saying that, I mean, Link to the Past is not an overly difficult game. No. Anybody who puts the time in, you're going to everybody complete Oh, yeah. yeah. You can look up how to beat the boss, yep. and you're like, oh, it's that easy. Yeah. It's just figuring out the way to do it. So, overall, I loved the game. I, there was times when Scott was sitting beside me and he would pull off his earphones because he'd hear me yelling and be like, if you hate it that much, just don't play it. And I'm like, it's not that I hate it. I don't know where to go and I don't have time to like it figure it out. It can be frustrating it can be. In, in an adult life that you feel like you don't have enough time. I don't get that playing this because I know where I need yeah, to go. Exactly. You've already done that. I've yeah. done it, done it, I've done it. So yeah. I don't so. have that. So I, like I like I said, a modern PS4 girl here that goes back and plays it has a, an appreciation for I it. Myself, it. I, I it. had played world games, but I had had a Super Nintendo growing up. I was a Sega Genesis guy. So when I played it maybe five years ago for the first time, I actually played it on the Mini. Yes. Okay. I don't think I owned a copy of it at that, at that yeah. point. And loved it though, so I had to go and get a copy of it. And then Dennis gave me his box. Yeah, <laughs> map and all that. <laughs> I, I that. was surprised because uh, I was going through my parents' basement and I found the, the box. It's crazy. It's in such good shape. Oh my God, and I insane. opened it up and the manual was in there and the map. And the map. And I was there. like, holy yeah. Mac, this is so cool. It's a new Nostalgic, eh? Yeah. yeah. What uh, do you do? We, like, that's why it's in a protective yeah. Yeah. <laughs> case. And it's on the top of our shelf over there. Yeah. It's it's just such a great game. It's iconic to it say is. the least. And every time I, I push myself into playing a retro game and I'm like, oh this is gonna this is gonna take some time or this is gonna take some effort, I appreciate it when it's done. That's it's really, the really good new. thing about retro games is that you can already find out if they were good or not. Oh, oh yeah. It's yeah. not like a modern release game you're you're gambling day one. To, you know, is this game any good? Yeah. It looks good. Is it gonna work the way it's supposed to? You know, you you can just ask people. Is Zelda Link to the Past a good game? And yeah. Be oh yeah. You ask and them like, the oh, okay. And then yeah. yeah. And you're like, oh, I got. I have not met one person ever in my life that said they didn't like No, I'm Link sure the they have their favorites. I mean, I'm sure there is somebody out there that said, I didn't care for it. If you're that oh, person, I'm sure there are. please comment. Yeah. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Are we and chugging these? No. <laughs> this is not water, by the way. This is flavored bullshit Dennis bought last night. Flavored bullshit. <laughs> Very slightly flavored bullshit. But it has alcohol in it. Very slightly. Very slightly. Four <laughs> percent water. Four percent water. Yeah. All right, guys. Until next time. Game, game on. Game on. I like the color variation there. Look at that. <laughs> very diverse. It's very Christmassy. It's a, it's a potion. <laughs>